All deleted items, including messages, are moved to the Deleted Items folder here until you manually go in and delete them permanently. And before we do that, notice how you've got a number next to the folder. Anytime you see a number next to a folder, it means that there are items within that folder that have not been read. So when I go ahead and select it, you can see I've got a lot more items within the folder than six. But of the items, six of them that are in bold have not been read or addressed. So if I go ahead and double click to open it up and I read it and I close back out, it's no longer marked as read. And so I go from six items being unread down to five. You can also right click on it and say that you did read it or mark it as being read, in which case I go from five down to four, or you can go ahead and right click on it and mark it as being unread, puts it back in bold, and we're back up to five. Why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes, like in my inbox, let's go there, and I need to address this, I can right click on it and mark it as unread, and it puts it back in bold, and you can see in the inbox, one, meaning one of all the items in here, even if it's the only item, has not been read. So that way, when I want to go ahead and read it and go, oh, that's nice, okay, well, I better get back to this, so I better touch it or tag it as not being read yet as a flag to me that I need to address that email even though I just read it. Now when it comes to deleting an item like an email message here, you can do it one of many ways. You can either right click on it and go down to delete or let me click off. You got the X over there to delete it or you can come up here on the home tab to the delete group and delete it or you can just hit the delete key on the keyboard and when you do that, it moves it over to the deleted items folder. Now while I'm still in the inbox, I can come up here and hit the undo and it brings it back. But after I delete it, when I leave the inbox and I go to the deleted items folder, that undo arrow is no longer active. I can no longer undo what I just deleted. And it was this message right here. So to bring it back to the inbox, I can just click and drag it and put it over here in the navigation pane, the inbox folder, let go, go back to the inbox and hey, now it's back. Now there's the permanent deletions, so when I delete something to the deleted items folder, and I'm like, okay, I no longer need it as a backup, as it were, in the deleted items folder, I can go ahead, like for this message right here, come over here and click on the X. It warns me that this will permanently delete it because it's not going to move it from this folder to another folder as a backup. Once it's gone from this folder, it's gone for good. So you can go ahead and click yes, and away it goes. Let me go back to the inbox. So when you delete your items, it goes to the deleted items folder, but you can bypass that one of two ways. You can, with the selected, hold down the shift key and then hit the delete key on the keyboard. It doesn't say that it bypasses the deleted items folder. It just never gets to it because it's going to be permanently deleted if I say yes, and I'll say no. Or every time you exit Outlook, you can have everything within your deleted items folder be cleaned out, which why would you want to do that? Just every time you exit Outlook, permanently delete and clear out the deleted items folder. I don't know, maybe what you're doing is top secret. So to go ahead and set this up, come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Options, then select the Advanced tab, and then right there, Empty Deleted Items When Exiting Outlook. You check that, and when you close out of Outlook, everything in the Deleted Items folder is permanently deleted. So you really want to make sure that that's something that you want to do. Otherwise, I would just leave the deleted items alone because that's my only backup when I delete it from like my inbox and I later realize like, oopsie doodle, didn't mean to do that. Then I can go back to my deleted items folder and pull it up from there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.